Hello and welcome back to my channel. I'm the Fairy Tempest and today we are starting a new challenge that I've been hoping to try, the Bachelorette Challenge. So I've been wanting to try something a little different, something a little fun, a little bit shorter than a legacy challenge. So I was watching English Simmer play the Bachelorette Challenge and I loved it. It looked like a lot of fun. And simultaneously, as you may know, Cottage Living came out and the whole pack just kind of screamed Disney princess to me, specifically like Snow White kept coming into my brain. So once the pack came out, I made Snow White in The Sims. And because of the Bachelorette Challenge being in my brain, Snow White being in my brain, I was like, what if I had Snow White and the Seven Dwarves in the Bachelorette Challenge? Is that anything? And like three people told me yes. So here we are. This challenge was created by Urban Sims and I'll link the rules down below for anyone who is interested. Basically, you create a bachelor or a bachelorette however you want, but they must have the romantic trait. And then you create seven contestants, place them in a giant house and start the show. It looks like a heck of a lot of fun. We're gonna have group dates, speed dates, one-on-ones, and of course, elimination rounds and I want you to be involved as much as possible so make sure you comment tell me who's your favorite who do you think maybe isn't right for snow or isn't here for the right reasons and ultimately who do you think should go home so without further ado let's meet our bachelorette This is our bachelorette, Meet Snow White. As I have imagined her, she is a good, romantic, and childish sim who has the soulmate aspiration. Snow White is here. She's looking for the love of her life. You know, she has had some experiences in the past and none that really stuck. So she is applied to be our bachelorette and is ready to embrace this wild process. Her likes include baking, mixology, and singing. Um, and I have put her here in blue and yellow, sort of in homage to her outfit in the original Disney movie. I also have several different outfits for her, including this white dress. Now all of our contestants will have a white outfit. This will be the outfit that they all wear during elimination rounds. Um, and I also have some other outfits for her, just so that we have an assortment of looks to serve up on the different dates. I don't know why, but I felt like Snow White would have some tennis whites, you know? So this is our bachelorette. This is the lucky lady who will be meeting her potential suitors in just a moment. But first, I will introduce them to you. Now, for each of the dwarves, I have given them their um, original first names. The last names I actually took from the last names of the voice actors that played them in the original Disney movie. So this is Doc Atwell. She is a bookworm, a foodie, and is family-oriented. Um, she also has the curator aspiration. Now, Doc is a trans woman. Um, they can get others pregnant, and they can also use the toilet standing. She likes dancing, guitar, and handiness. And before coming on to The Bachelorette, she was a jewelry appraiser and runs a small chain of very successful jewelry businesses. This is Happy Harlan. He has the joke star aspiration. He is a cheerful sim, a goofball, 
and is outgoing. Happy and Doc are two of the older contestants on The Bachelorette Challenge. They are both adults rather than young adults, so they are uh, both experienced in terms of the dating world, and we'll probably see them be a little bit more forward with Snow White if I had to make some guesses, um, because I think that they kind of know what they want in life and are willing to go for it. Happy's likes are comedy, cooking, and dancing, and he actually dislikes mischief. Before coming on The Bachelorette, he was a restaurant manager and an amateur comedian. Up next, we have Sleepy Kolvig. Sleepy is a pansexual sim who is lazy, clumsy, and a music lover with the musical genius Aspiration. And yes, Sleepy is a musician. He likes guitar and singing and will happily serenade you if you want him to. Sleepy, as I mentioned again, is pansexual, so he enjoys the wine, not the label, and we welcome him to the Bachelorette Challenge. This is Bashful Matra. They are a loner, a romantic sim, and an animal enthusiast. Before coming on to the Bachelorette Challenge, Bashful was actually a farm-to-table baker and runs a bakery in Brindleton Bay. Um, they're non-binary and go by they, them pronouns. Um, they also have the soulmate aspiration, so much like Snow White, Bashful is here looking to find their person in life, um, looking for someone who shares their values and their hopes and dreams, and is very nice to look at, I'm just gonna say it. Sneezy Gilbert goes by she, they pronouns, she is a demigirl, um, and is a good sim, is a vegetarian, and she's a little clumsy. She likes dancing and singing, but actually dislikes gardening. Um, she is a friend of the world, or has the friend of the world aspiration, and before coming on The Bachelorette, she was a social media manager for a non-profit organization that specializes in environmental protection. I don't know if I'm allowed to have favorites, but I do and it's Grumpy. Grumpy Vance is a snob, <laughs> she is hot-headed, and she is self-assured. She also has the curator aspiration. Um, Grumpy is a jewelry designer who owns her own small business. Um, she likes the piano and the pipe organ, and you know, she can be a little bit hard to get to know at first. She does put up a bit of a wall, but I think if as long as she opens up and gets comfortable she might go a long way on the bachelorette last but certainly not least we have dopey collins dopey is a goofball he's a music lover and he's also relatively childish um, he has the party animal aspiration and his favorite quote is i'm here for a good time not a long time he likes comedy and dancing Outside of The Bachelorette, he is a stunt coordinator and an influencer. So he actually is a very active sim, um, very in tune with his body, um, but may just kind of be looking for a fun thing to do. I'm not sure if he's really in it to get to know Snow White. We shall see. We shall see. As you can see, I've decided to set up our bachelor pad in Windenburg in the neighborhood of the Crumbling Isle. This is a wonderful mansion that was not created by me. Huge shout out to the creator of the bachelor abode, Fleur Labelle. So I took this build and refurnished it to suit my purposes. Let's take a tour.
All right, so here it is once again. This is home sweet home for the duration of the Bachelorette Challenge. This build was again made by Floor LaBelle and I'm gonna show y'all inside so you can see how I furnished it. Um, so if we just sweep past Snow White here and go through the front door where all of the contestants have made themselves comfortable in the living room area. This is our main living room. The furniture for the most part is by Peacemaker, although I do have a lot of the sets that were made by uh, Felix Andre and Harry. So. Um, opening this living room opens up into a giant sunroom basically I love that feature in this home if we zoom on over to the left here there is a dining table we've got a bar area a grand piano and a nice big open kitchen space with two stoves you know uh, I probably should have put two sinks in as well but there you have it. If we go outside quickly, um, you'll see a ping pong table. We've got the pool area here with some lounge chairs, a nice bar area with a hot tub nearby. Always gotta have a hot tub for a bachelorette challenge. I don't know why, I just made that up. We've got the foosball table, the grill, the bar, and lots and lots of seating. A nice little fire pit over here if we zoom past the pool past the ping pong table um, we come into the spa so we've got some mats to do yoga and then zoom in over here really quick we've also got the sauna so our sims can relax here or maybe once they're allowed to have some romantic interactions they can uh, you know have a little fun in the sauna i'm just zooming over here quickly to show y'all the gym this is our little gym uh, for the house on this side we've got the rose room and snow white's room which i will show you in just a little bit but i want to get back over to this side of the house and show you some of the bedrooms. Whoop. So this right here will be Dopey's room, um, decorated in the style of island living. I tried to tailor each of the contestants' rooms to their personalities, and there was just something about Dopey that mm, made me think, you know, he's an outdoorsy guy. He's someone who probably loves to spend time on the beach and, and have like, a good fun time then moving in over here we have Sneezy's room so because she's so into environmental protection we've got lots of earthy colors in here um, some little nature prints on the wall everybody has their own bathroom so this is Sneezy's and then just going to jump through the wall to Happy's room. Lots of bright colors, lots of mid-century uh, modern furniture, um, and then his bathroom. And if we move out of here, sorry that I'm going so fast. <laughs> if we move out of here and head up the stairs, we've got a little seating area which takes us into Grumpy's room. This has a little bit more of a modern feel to it. Um, we've got some open storage over there. And then if we go through Grumpy's bathroom, which is sort of an industrial vibe, we get to Doc's bathroom and Doc's bedroom. So again, lots of natural lighting in this house just beautiful beautiful job um, so this is Doc's room over here nice and big with a little balcony going on if we come out of the out of Doc's room and head on over uh, or across 
we get to the last two contestants rooms and another seating area in here I believe is Bashful's room so lots of earthy colors in here as well kind of went for like a little bit more of a earthy romantic vibe over yonder we have sleepy's room so lots of calming colors maybe a little bit darker but um i just thought you know when you're someone who loves to sleep you want your bedroom to be a kind of oasis so that is what i went for here and last but certainly not least um we have the bachelorette's room this is going to be snow white's suite and it is truly a <laughs> sweet sweet i apologize this is her luxurious bathroom so this is where she will be doing all of her deep thinking you know when it comes time to elimination rounds um and you know no pressure or anything but she does have a direct view into the rose room this is the rose room this is where all of our eliminations will be where i will gather everyone when it comes time to send someone out of the bachelor mansion um, and other than that it will be locked and uh you know they they won't be able to go in there unless it's an el elimination round so um, I am so excited to get into the very first day of this, uh, although that will be next time. So we will just let everyone sit here to get comfortable, get to know each other. Um, and I will be back in the next one with our introductions, our, our getting to know each other's, our with our icebreakers. That's the word that I was looking for. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Let me know what your first impressions are. I am so excited to get into this and I will see y'all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. As always, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up, leave a comment, and hit subscribe for even more videos coming your way. I will see you all in the next one. Bye.